Welcome to another edition of the Engineers from the Home Desk series. And today we're going to be talking to Sashida Dongwe, who heads our Smart Products and Services Division. And we're going to be talking a little bit about business continuity uh, in a virtualized environment because uh, Sashi has been instrumental in uh, devising and executing a, a lot of the business continuity plans that, that we have in place. So hi, Sashi, how are you doing? Hi, Achai. Good morning. So great. So Sashi, you know, people have been going to this thing called an office for, for maybe a couple of centuries now. So how big a mindset change has it been for your engineers uh, to not come into work anymore? That's a good question, right? Uh, for, for the last uh, 200 years or so, right, uh, since the industrial age, uh, I think people have been kind of used to go to office and then do uh, their duties. Uh, but uh, I think uh, overall, right, this work from home, remote working, etc., has caught up in the last uh, 20 years or so. Uh, and especially, and it uh, affects uh, different industries in different ways, right? Uh, for our industry, which is a design uh, services industry. Uh, I think uh, we are kind of blessed, right, to to kind of uh, having been uh, 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 readied, right, for work from home, uh, work from home, be it VLSI design uh, and verification, uh, be it uh, hardware design and verification, be it mechanical design, and of course, software development is very much uh, today, cap- uh, uh, you know, is is uh, possible to do uh, most of the work, uh, right, from from remotely. Uh, because most of the tools are uh, software based uh, and then availability of cloud based software only has added a, a big fillip to this uh, uh, work from home uh, kind of a situation but i can't say that uh, for uh, all the other industries as well right for example you take manufacturing industry for example right uh, or or uh, uh, or uh, aviation industry right now uh, in these uh, particular industries it's it's not uh, easy right to think of uh, uh, you know uh, work from home situations for all aspects of the uh, business. Uh, so yes, right from uh, our point of view, which is a software centric design services, I think it's a, uh, we are there. So Sashi, from a business continuity standpoint, as companies go about virtualizing their workplaces, what are some of the essentials to keep in mind uh, to minimize business disruptions? That's a uh, interesting question these days, especially. Uh, business continuity uh, process right has been uh, in existence uh, in the various parts of the industry for uh, 20 25 years now right uh, most of the mature industries have documented their uh, uh, processes and have implemented and is also part of many certification processes like iso like cmmi etc so uh, uh, this is not something new to the industry uh, only thing is, you know, in the current circumstance, uh, uh, it, it appears that globally we have got affected. And then generally, uh, BCP assumes that one part of the geography is okay, another part gets affected. So how do we move uh, things? How do we start operating from other location, etc.? Uh, whereas the current uh, uh, has added a slightly difficult dimension, right, to the whole uh, BCP aspect. But from a BCP implementation perspective, first is to have a... Uh, uh, documentation right which looks at all the aspects of the business and then documents who needs to do what etc and escalation mechanisms uh, and then things like that uh, second is to actually implement it rigorously on a project by project right or an assignment by assignment uh, kind of a kind of a basis and that rigor is extremely important uh, third is uh, of course monitoring uh, situation right uh, you know we hear of uh, fire drills for example for uh, being ready for uh, any any eventuality in, in fire situations. Uh, do we do that for BCP? Uh, uh, yes, you can't say. So maybe time has come where uh, you need to have a BCP drill kind of a situation as well. Uh, I know it is done uh, right in some mature organizations, uh, but maybe you know we have to see the evidence of that uh, in a lot more uh, a lot more uh, uh, broadly. So Sashi, a, a big part of uh, virtual working is security. Right, uh, secure laptops, secure communication, and so on. So, what are some of the things that an enterprise must do uh, in order to ensure security? Yes, uh, security has always been an important aspect for everybody, especially when in a, in a connected age. And when you talk about uh, remote working, work from home, it only becomes uh, that much more. Uh, 
बट आई वुड से ए मेच्योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अगेन राइट वुड हैव डॉक्यूमेंटेड वॉट दे नीड टू डू एंड नॉट ओनली डॉक्यूमेंटेड वॉट दे नीड टू डू बट वुड हैव इन्वेस्टेड ऑन दी लॉट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर हार्डवेयर विच इज रिक्वायर्ड राइट टू टू काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेट रिमोटली एंड दिस इज सीन वर्ल्ड ओवर इन इन ऑल मोस्ट ऑफ द ग्लोबल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर काइंड ऑफ रेडी राइट फॉर दिस and in uh, ours kind of situation where we serve multiple customers right we not only need to document what our own uh, method uh, uh, for this as well as tune our methods to what our customer wants because the 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 uh, security methods could vary a little bit right uh, from uh, one customer to the other customer right and uh, in a enterprise uh, or a commercial uh, situation it could be different in a defense kind of a thing it could be a slightly more uh, uh, rigorous for example and all of these things need to be uh, need to be tailored right for example Uh, but having having implemented it i think uh, uh, the most important thing perhaps is to monitor it and uh, uh, and unless you have a very very good mechanism to monitor it and then raise alerts uh, 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 and the whole thing becomes only a uh, uh, only an exercise uh, uh, which in futility sometimes right uh, so while you agree uh, that you know you need to document it you need to implement it i think monitoring and improving on a continuous basis right is the uh, is extremely important so sashi there's certain things that cannot be virtualized right uh, you know like given that eltts is an engineering company uh, we have a lot of design centers and uh, r&d labs that are confined to a physical space uh, other companies have the same problem as well so what are some of the things we can do to ensure that the lab and design center operations uh, run smoothly uh, in a virtual world <laughs> yes akshay this this is an interesting question on the labs uh, how do we manage labs uh, when you are working from home or remote working uh, yes for a design and a development organization like us we do have uh, lots of labs and there are broadly two kinds of labs uh, we have right one is Uh, those labs where uh, people actively work on a day to day basis uh, for uh, designing development testing etc the other kind of labs are more uh, show and tell labs where we get our customers to uh, come and uh, look at the kind of demonstrations of uh, things right so these two need a little different kind of a uh, treatment when you are looking for a remote working Uh, the second kind which is a demonstration kind there is a possibility to uh, make them uh, remotely seen by having skeleton right uh, uh, operating people in the lab right and then so that you know you can enable with uh, uh, remote uh, cameras and then explanations etc etc so it it is possible to uh, you know uh, run with a very skeletal right uh, people within the labs Uh, but the other kind where you actually uh, need those labs right uh, for actual operations you know th- for example things like photo uh, 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 photo lab for example we have right or uh, thermal testing lab for plastics for example right these are things which need lot more physical uh, uh, physical uh, involvement and uh, you know products to be uh, uh, products to be placed within a thermal chamber looking at it for some time and then things like that Uh, so there uh, you need a lot more uh, intervention by by engineers concerned right of course there is a possibility to uh, uh, equip these uh, even these labs with remote uh, turn on turn off kind of a facility but then it would need uh, uh, both uh, planning and investment right uh, to be able to do that uh, so that's but that's the lab question is a interesting question uh, you know from many points of view So Sashi talk to us about the challenges with remote working uh, in today's agile world. So how are you doing your scrum meetings and your brainstorming sessions? You know it's it's a little irony isn't it that you know scrum started by uh, stating that you know all team members need to be preferably under the same roof uh, and uh, be able to collaborate very very actively and then you know things like that. but over the years uh, we have also seen uh, scrum teams being distributed geographically uh, uh, of course uh, geographically nationally as well as internationally and uh, scrum of scrum teams are being also distributed uh, across uh, the world today so hence uh, you know doing scrum meetings remotely has been already been, been a part of uh, a part of uh, the ecosystem right now the only difference is that uh, 
if in a physical location uh, there are uh, teams and then they meet generally in one location and then at least they are uh, physically together right whereas with the, the current uh, thing even that becomes remote so it adds to its uh, challenges right Uh, the typical uh, post-it notepads uh, which are supposed to be written and then uh, you know brainstorming sessions which are supposed to happen during uh, some uh, meetings etc is a challenge i think that will continue to be challenge uh, and uh, uh, unless uh, we we have all these uh, 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 scribbles which are done uh, and remotely and then that uh, whole experience is as close to realistic as possible i think we will uh, uh, continue to have some challenges in terms of uh, brainstorming meetings otherwise i think i would say uh, scrum meetings uh, have have happened earlier and then now it only adds to a little delta dimension right uh, because most of the team members are all of them are remote remotely logging into these scrum meetings but it's a, it's an interesting uh, paradigm right uh, nevertheless uh, that was uh, sashida dongre on uh, business continuity uh, in a virtual world uh, so until next time uh, take care and see you